to her on this cute little spot in my mom's yard over here. My folks' yard, I should say, but she's the one who maintains it. In uh, Manchester, Washington. And I'm going to start with a little unoriginal material here, or finish perhaps. I'm sure your direction and organization this orders up in. Love is the beacon for alignment and activation to a greater gestalt. The individual is always empowered to choose freedom and love by recognizing their inner grandeur. Stop evaluating, stop judging, stop defining, and begin to recognize the music of all that is that resonates within. As the individual begins to sing along to that music, you shall recognize the loving symphony of life. Then all becomes possible. As your perceptions continue to broaden, and you begin to witness as your rubrics of understanding begin to expand. In the space of resonance, it becomes revealed that Source is so far greater than you ever perceived, than you could ever imagine. There's a little Saint Francis in some sort of translation. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there is doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there's darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we are born to eternal life. <laughs> if you're feeling frightened about what comes next, don't be. Embrace the uncertainty and allow it to lead you places. Be brave as it challenges you to exercise both your heart and mind as you create your own path towards happiness. Don't waste time with regret and spin wildly into your next action. Enjoy the present, because you'll never get another one quite like it. If you should ever look up and find yourself lost, simply take a breath and start over. Retrace your steps and go back to the purest place in your heart, where your hope lives. Energy is either allowed to languish separately in dominion or co converted toward an eternal, benevolent, collective expression. God looks at the world through the eyes of love. If we, therefore, as human beings made in the image of God, also want to see reality rationally, that is, as it truly is, and we too must learn to look at what we see with love. The secret is that true love is an unconditional flowing current within creation. It cannot be collected, owned, or contained. The spiritualist masters expanding themselves to encompass more of it so that more can flow through them on its way to engaging the rest of creation. As human beings, our greatness lies not so much in being able to remake the world, that is the myth of the atomic age, as in being able to remake ourselves. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to close with this piece. I forget where it comes from. Some sort of native tradition, probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Native American. Friend, do it this way. That is, whatever you do in life, do the very best you can with both your heart and mind. And if you do it in that way, the power of the universe will come to your assistance if your heart and mind are in unity. And when one sits in the hoop of the people, one must be responsible because all of creation is related. And the hurt of one is the hurt of all. And whatever we do affects everything in the universe. If you do it that way, that is, if you truly join your heart and mind as one, whatever you ask for, that's the way it's going to be. Thanks for being with me, folks. Catch you on the